er lagt i brakk I mangfoldige år Og byen har glemt oss I skyggen vi står Men nå er vi tilbake Der vi hører til Tilbake i toppen I verdens vakreste spill Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press For det som er tyra Og mye av gress Vi er åsene Når kampen er vunnet Skalpen er tatt Ja, da skal vi feire Som gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod Her finnes ingen stjernenykker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som er dyra på mye av gress Vi er åsene For dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted Overalt i verden Er det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press Dø som har tyra på middagen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press Dø som har tyra på middagen Vi er åsene Back to work guys, it's Monday, back to Asane, continuing our season number 5 in Norway, welcome to the stream, welcome to the daily stream, it's May 29th, uh, I have an announcement to make, on uh, June 3rd I'm gonna go for a week, go away from the city, but I think less than, than a week, it's like 6 days. So from 3rd to the 9th, I will not stream to have um, a short vacation. So yeah guys, um, no streams between 3rd and 9th of June. Uh, with that being said, let's start. Let's dig in. Alright. Where did we leave it yesterday? Um, so we played three games yesterday. We beat Odds, 3-0. We beat 4-2 in the cup. Sunday Fjord, we beat Christiansen, 3-0 on the stream. We beat Gerb, 4-0. Uh, and then on my own, I played and um, we beat uh, at home Rosenborg, 2-0. It was a very, very good game for us with Hannibal and Niku Balac on the score sheet. I will show you the highlights. I'm going to try to show you the highlights of the important games that I played on my own. Not all the games, but just uh, the important ones. 
So this one against Rosenborg, one of the uh, the best teams in Elite Serie, and I have to show you Matazo here with a good assist for Rasmussen and Rasmussen with a smart uh, pass in front of the goal for Balac. And uh, this was the first goal, and the second goal came in the 84th minute. Zamburek passing to Romac, and Romac with a beautiful cross for Hannibal. And uh, three points are gonna stay in Bergen. And then away we lost 3 1 due to playing tired players, guys. Um, I didn't have a choice. We were on top of the league and I wanted to stay on top of the league and I played all my starters but they were half of their energy, they had half of that heart, the green heart, all of them they were uh, on yellow actually. So we lost 3-1 and then uh, we came back home after 4 days and I played the backups and we beat Raufos, uh, new promoted club in Elysian, we beat them 3-0 and uh, we are now still top of the league because uh, Bodo Glimt made some uh, made some mistakes. Uh, they tied. Uh, let me let me double check because I forgot, guys. I'm sorry, I forgot since yesterday. Short memory. They made some mistakes, so they tied Rosenborg away. They tied Odds and they tied Jerv. So this is why we are still top of the league, but. Guys, they didn't lose any game since uh, the beginning of the season. As you can see here, unstoppable. Uh, let's check the league standing. We are second just because we didn't play our game. We have uh, one game that to play uh, less. We have one game less than Bodo Glim. So if we win our game, we're going to be back on top. So let's press continue. Um, our next game is going to be Jerv in the cup. We have the cup uh, quarterfinal. After the Jerv game, we have Stabike away. So this is the game where we can uh, get back on top of the league. We have also new players coming in. Let's uh, make the update really, really, really happy. We have Butelezi from Kaiser Chief Pule Butelezi, who is going to join us, guys, in uh, August 3rd. On August 3rd, Pule Butelezi, 19 years old, South African uh, advanced midfielder. We will play him as a shadow striker. This is why we got him, guys. And we paid 600k. 600k guys not a lot of money for this for this uh, type of talent one cap for the south african national team at 19 years old not bad uh, he already played two full seasons for kaiser schiff last season he played 27 games three goals and five assists with two player of the match performances for uh, for the south african team uh, definitely he will be an undisputed starter and he is a borderline wonder kid maybe a full-on wonder kid we'll see but the numbers are impressive with 17 technique 16 vision 18 teamwork 16 decisions 15 flair 14 agility 13 anticipation 14 dribbling 13 first touch so yeah 19 years old guys and the second guy that we got same country south africa 19 years old with one cap for the national team also and also um he scored he scored guys for in his first game for the for his own country he um he scored one goal and we will play him as uh metzala because zamburek zamburek is gonna depart his loan is gonna end very very soon and this guy is very close to his value and he's gonna become even better right now that the attributes are not crazy good but he will improve he has uh, a lot of room to improve a 185 cm 19 years old also he played for orlando pirates last season with 22 uh total appearances and one assist so 
great uh, great price also also 600k guys so all this was possible all this was possible because we sold bot care yesterday for 1.5 million to molde uh let's see here yeah joining molde in august so 1.5 million great price that we got for from for uh for bot care keeping in mind that we signed him for free he was on loan with us for two years and then we signed him on a free aid on a free transfer and now because he stopped developing i decided to sell him so this is a great piece of business and uh we will improve zamburek loan will end in uh, six months so we have to you know take this decision and uh, i know he is uh actually they're in they're close in value if you look at them this guy is 25 that guy is 19. so big difference and same uh big difference in age but same ability same current ability so yeah we're gonna lose zambrek but we have uh mzimela tabang mzimela and pule butalezi will join in august in less than than uh two months guys and another announcement we have in europe guys we will play in the second qualifying round against gank from belgium very unlucky draw but keeping in mind that we are um right here uh keeping in mind that we are a low reputation club we're still we're still developing uh always we're gonna get drawn uh against very very good opponents uh, this is champions league remember when we had to play galatasaray and we knocked out the, the turkish champions surprisingly we knocked them out and we managed to to play europa league that i think two seasons ago yeah so very very happy that we're back to champions league now it's up to us to to make this count and uh maybe we are good enough to to get to the next round we'll we'll see let's press continue and uh, in two days we're playing Jerv away we're gonna use our backups definitely protecting our starters for the league games hey Bessmer, how are you man welcome to the stream two days away I hope you had a good weekend, Best Murph. Let's see here. We have to line up, like I said, our backups. We're not going to take any chances in the league. Rasmussen. Yeah. It was okay. That's good, man. That's good. Quiet, quiet weekend for me too. Very quiet streams yesterday, uh, probably today too. I don't know if you, if you, were if you were here when I uh, announced that uh, from third to to the ninth, I'm not gonna have any streams. Um, I'm gonna take a short vacation, me and my wife, and uh, we're gonna be out of town. Ruglen Dree for Peterson. Oh, Escobar is back. Okay. Let's try to sell Escobar. Let's try to sell. He's 30 years old. Maybe we can get like 500k for him. Let's try. Let's try 2 million. 2 million. We're starting with 2 million. He was uh, injured for three to four months, I think. We unregistered him for the league, but he can play in the cup. Uh, route, the Hawkinson, Radio Pane. Rasmussen. Uh, from the from June 3rd, 3rd 
June to uh, we're, go we're gonna come back on the 8th but yeah I think I think the first stream will be on the 9th yeah the first stream so on the 9th we will be back yeah Joel. okay so Gilhart is back also that's good Rahold for Hannibal Seal stud for Welsh we have to put in uh, we have a lot of central defenders that are injured hmm we have to play him some in the cup Thirteen July, damn. So Stephen Welsh will be away until July thirteenth with Scotland. Why though? Is it probably they have the Euros? Hmm. World Cup second round because World Cup the World Cup has a new format 2026 World Cup yep so they qualified Let's see the groups. Yeah, they have three, three teams in each group. And then Scotland qualified. Ha. That's so funny. They, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 groups, dude. Damn. Three teams. So Scotland actually made it. To the second round. But it doesn't show though. Scotland. Oh yeah. Right here. Senegal, Scotland and Iran. Huh. So they made it through with one point. Wow. This is this is a weird format for World Cup. To be honest, I would prefer to keep it like um the usual with 32 teams, eight groups. This is I don't I don't even know why they did why they did this. Especially with Champions League. I would have loved to have the same format like in the past. Not with league phase with eight groups and yeah, this is kinda weird. But whatever. I'm not in charge of FIFA. <laughs> so yeah. We have a player that plays in in the World Cup from Asane, guys. Stephen Welsh. In uh, in in a week, we're gonna say goodbye to Radio Pane. Who is joining Hanover, guys? A good servant of the club. We got good money for him. But we have good replacements.
No offers to Escobar. Okay. Uh, we can lower it. No worries. 1.7. 20 years old. Got it. Kogvang Pedersen. He was on loan, he's coming back, but he's not good enough. Oh, dude, come on. Sports hernia between four to six weeks injury for Kvale. We have way too many injuries, suspensions. Hannibal is away with the international team also. Strasbourg is interested in Kamanzi. But this guy is for now, for now, untouchable. He can play too many positions for us and he's a he's undisputed starter, 121 current ability. We can't we can't sell him right now. We have way too many injuries. It's too important that Romach. We tried, we tried so hard to to get him, but he doesn't want to join on a permanent. See, let's try again. Seven hundred k. What a steal! He always says he doesn't feel that joining a sunny football is the right move to continue his development. Dude, you're starting for us. Undisputed starter. Okay, let's lower it to 1.4 million. Pero Romach is a world is going to be a world class uh, right back only 17 and he already has 131 current ability okay we have three offers wow Partizan Belgrade, 1.4 million in family half. Yes, he's 30 years old. Thank you. M. Thank you. And with this money, we can improve the team even more. I like this. So we already have two Borderline Wonder Kids coming on in August. And like I said, South Africa is really, really good country for uh, for cheap, cheap, cheap wonder kids. Them, Croatia, Slovenia, Czech Republic, 
Panther be a... Amazing, amazing. Alright, so game time. We have no choice, but we have to play Msomi. And Msomi, guys. Only 18 years old and already 125 current ability. This guy is a wonder kid. So we are slowly, slowly building this club with wonder kids already. We have Romach, who we're still gonna try to, to you know, to, to get him. Maybe we can uh, work with a loan deal, another loan deal when uh, the six months will, uh, you know, the loan will expire in six months. Look at the numbers here. Unbelievable player. He turned 18, one cap for Croatia, and the only problem he doesn't want to join us on a on a five-year contract. We have Niku Balac. Maybe we can loan him again next year. Yeah, let's see what we can do with Raholt. Raholt, he stopped improving. From Strom got set. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's start the game. First game of the of the stream. We're not gonna check the training levels. We'll do that right before the league game. This is the quarterfinal of the cup. Probably this is the last game for Radio Pane in Asane Journey Jersey. Uh, he is uh, he's gonna leave, guys. Very good player for us last season, scored over 20 goals. But money talks. We we need money. Constantly we need to improve each season to keep up with Bodo Glimt, keep up with Molde, keep up with Rosenborg. And one nothing for Zerv. Took them 30 seconds to score a goal. Come on, guys, what are we doing here? Beautiful header. Still under pressure here. Run is playing Rosenborg and they have one nothing. One nothing for Bran against Rosenborg. We don't care too much about the cup, although I would like to win it. We have to play the backups in the cup, guys. Apparently, Jerv is playing their starters because they're winning. Brendan. Second half, we're gonna make a mix actually. I'm gonna put some starters too. Probably around 60 70th minute. Oh my god, another another good header here. Could have been 2 nothing. Seven nothing on shots so far.
35th minute. We can't find a way to control the middle. And everyone has a poor, poor performance so far. Rahold 6-2. We need to change him right after halftime. bot care he will also leave very very soon he's gonna join molde and hauge here this is the very first chance we had in the 45th minute hussein haug hauge in the box bot care We could have tied a game undeservedly, but we could have tied a game. We're lucky it's just one nothing. Let's uh, make some changes. Show me something else. Second half. Okay, let's. Uh, We need to take out Rahul, but who we're gonna replace him with? That's the problem. I don't wanna risk playing for 45 minutes Gelhart and. Uh, he can do it. Alright, fine. But he will play as a winger. Okay. Radio Pane, we're gonna leave him in. Eliad Haug, we don't have central defenders on the bench. He has to continue. Yep. And. Yeah, we'll do raw match for Silostad. I'm gonna start um, overloading. I think it's time. It's the 50th minute. We need to demand more from the players. Gelhardt for Radio Pane. Corner kick. Still, our backups are not even close to the value of our starters. Romach, Msonmi, Hussein, Botker. 
Hussein Romach. Very good pass to Hauge in the box. And we're controlling the game now. We have a chance to score. It's just a one nothing. So if we tie the game, you know, as soon as possible, then we have a chance to, to hope for a win. Ah, over to wait. Radio Pane 6-3. Okay, we have to take him out. I think he's, uh, he's just thinking about leaving. So let's see if Niku Balac can change something. Good, good uh, free kick by Rush. Hussein. Still Hussein gets inside a penalty box. And Gerhard with a shot. Corner kick. Escobar. Hussein. Twenty minutes left. Come on. Garcia, Msomi, Hussein, Botker, Botker, come on, Botker. Need to make more subs. How many do we still have? We still have. Okay, we can put Matazo or Garcia. And Kamanzi for Escobar, and that's it. Last ten minutes, we need to find a way to score. Eighty ninth minute. If we're not scoring now, it's over. Hussein Balac uh, Botker, don't shoot please. Balac. Good pass to Hauge. Hauge Corner. I think we're out of the cup guys but it is what it is we took it last season was the same story we had to place the the backup <laughs> they almost scored a second Oh, 
Oh god, post. Uh oh, pot gear. Oh my god, what was that? What was that, dude? Instead of shooting, he passed to the right, but he was. He had a one on one chance with the goalie. He decided to pass. And we're out of the cup. Far from pleased. We got to the quarterfinals. Uh, send the assistant. Let me see the numbers though. I want to see how many shots we had. Seventeen ten, on target three to five. XG was yeah, they dominated us so, no complaints then. All right, three days away and we're playing away at Starbike. Tough opponent, and then Viking at home. Back to Elite Syrian now. Bodo Glimt is first, but they have one more game than us. Ideally, with the money for Escobar, would be to find a Norwegian Wonder Kid. Well, we searched and nothing so far. Oswin Apolis Spezia Benjamin Gare Free Agent very strong left foot. Piotrowski. Josh Grant. Peter Carlson. Abdelawi. Saido, so not interested. 
Not interested. My son will see 2.4 million. Not interested. No. Hmm. One Norwegian. Let's see. 86 current ability. Sandefjord. Per Gunnar Lagesen. We'll put on the short list. Just in case. Fredriksen. Okay, best smurf. No worries, man. Whenever you can. Like I said, I'm here until June 3rd. Sander Tangvik. Yeah, we're okay with good goalies. John Solis. Pickering. Nope. Andres Alvorsen. Nope. Not good enough. We'll add him to the short list, but we need better than that. 19 million? Dude. Really not interested in this. No. Pusni, no. Uh, what? Uh, what's the date on Saturday? Let me double check. Saturday. Oh yeah, no betting league. The last, uh, the last stream is gonna be on the second best merp. So if we find games on Friday, maybe we'll do it Friday, but. I don't think so. Even that, uh, I think, I don't think I'm gonna do the betting league on Friday because we have to get ready with all the luggages and all the stuff we have to pack up. So, yeah, we'll do the betting league in two weeks. Yeah, the third of June is uh, next Saturday, but like I said. I don't want to do the betting league like rushing, you know. So, yeah, we wait. In two weeks, we'll do it again. Uh, we have to decide which games are gonna be uh, betting on because uh, all the leagues are gonna be done. So probably we have to we have to bet on uh, on Elite Syrian and MLS. That's it. This summer, you know. Felipe Castro. This guy is not bad. 18 years old, Felipe Castro. It 115 current ability. This guy is not bad at all. And he's wanted by Ghent, Freiburg, Stuttgart, Bologna, Fiorentina. Oh yes. I think we found a wonder kid here. How much? We made an offer, so 115. Dude, this guy is good. Uh, I will back. I will be back. I think on the ninth. On the ninth, I'll I'll do the first stream. Danovi Kinones. Oh, this guy is not bad. Lingbo. 
He could have a little more speed though. 18 years old. We'll add him to shortlist. John Spellman. I like what I'm seeing. But he is Danish though. Lino Tempelman. 27 years old German from Brunby. Fifteen years old Christiansen. Yeah, but he's really shitty. Yeah, this guy's not bad. I mean Al Dakil. Knudsen no Mataba. Theo Langmo Wald. Yeah, I need to find a very good Norwegian scout and then do a like a really really deep scouting um, assignment for the whole Norway. I need to do that right now because there's there's one or kids that we we could sign. Sandre Sorli. Do you know how many goals you scored against us, man? From Bodoglim, Sandre Sorli. No, nope, we will not give you a contract just because you scored too many goals against us. <laughs> yeah, that it's the time. Right now, it's the best time to to find those Norwegian wonder kids. Otherwise, we're gonna have to sign only foreigners, and we we can only register nine. You know. Razaxis. Sondre Fett. 29 years old. Also from Bodo Glimt. No, not good enough, bro. Julio. Or Julio. Oliver Zick. Hmm. Free agent Polish. But, as I said before, no more foreign goalkeepers. Our goalkeepers have to be Norwegian from now on. This guy very good. Look how many positions this guy can play. Damn. 26 years old, Amar Hamdi. From Alakhli. Arieta Abu Kamara mm, 30 years old too old alright ok let's go on the market and find a good very good Norwegian scout we have the money scout Mental. Yes. Romso, this guy. Rules Jensen. How much do you want? Nope, not Chief Scout, just Scout. We'll give you five years and we'll give you. 97 
He said yes. All right then. But we need one more. Because Trump's so definitely they're gonna they're gonna give him another contract. They see that we're trying to steal him away. Alam hope. This guy is not Norwegian. This guy is awesome, but he's also not Norwegian. General manager. Unemployed. Ah, scout. <laughs> Why they even show me this guy? Because I just want scouts, not general managers. Let's do the filter. Let's do nationality. It's just quicker. Norwegian. There you go. So the best one is the the, the is Truls Jensen, the one that we offer the contract, or Carlson from Gerv. Twelve current ability. Let's try. See, everyone wants Chief Scout. Chief Scout, dude. 97. Alright. We'll do one more. We will do one more. Since we're here, let's take advantage. Jerv. Let's see. Are Ostring. This guy too. We'll do one assignment for Wonder Kids, one assignment for the general age for players. And uh, in all in Norway. And one Norwegian that is gonna scout all the Scandinavian countries. Because maybe maybe we can find Wonder Kids in other countries too from Scandinavia so all right boom now we're just gonna wait until they join because we're getting beat by Bodo Glimt by Molde on Wonder Kids I, I've seen Bodo Glimt having of 148 current ability goalie at 18 years old that they just sold to Fulham for eight or eight or eleven million if I'm not mistaken. It's a uh, double check actually transfers transfer history and by the way look how for how much money they are getting players for 13.25 million. I mean how can you compete with that? They paid 5.75 for this dude. They paid 5.25 for this dude. For Mago. Uh, it's kind of a waste. He's 31, man. Why would you even do that? What about this guy? Reitan. Oh, this guy used to be our right back. Not a bad piece of business. Okay, but they had last year. Yep, they sold. They sold Gvernemo. They sold Gvernemo. Look at this guy at 19 right now. Fulham, 157 current ability. Norway's goalkeeper. 27 caps for the Norwegian national team. My God, what a player! So yeah. They sold him for 11.5 million to Fulham. They sold Gronbeck to Tottenham. Damn. Yeah. So how can we how can we compete with that if we always always loan players or you know just sign free agents? We need we need to do the same thing. We need to develop our own or to beat them on the on this kind of deals you know press conference before a bike i'm gonna check the training levels
Yeah, it takes time. I know, best Merv, but it's... It's already 2026, man. <laughs> Felipe Castro. Youth intake is really bad. We are not generating good players, man. We need to upgrade the youth recruitment department. Otherwise... The improve youth recruitment. Let's see if they will agree. Oh, you have one season left from 2026 okay yeah i'm i'm catching up really fast <laughs> i stream every day so and i play on my own also but you might uh, you might go one more season above me because i will take a break so when i go away with my wife so so they don't want 250 how much how much we're talking I think it's worth a try. Let's risk out this, this kid. So many teams interested in this kid. Already played 21 games, scored 3 goals. Torneo bet play. This is the second division of Colombia, I think. Yes. Uh, let's do 350. Okay, game time. Let's do the thing. the training levels really really fast. So we are one hour and nine minutes into the stream. We're going for a little over 50 minutes in uh, today's stream. We'll stop at exactly two hours and we're coming back tomorrow. All right. We have few players who are not putting the work in training, we need to criticize them, 
Rasmussen, why? What happened to you? Huh. Okay, Msomi passing. Sales start. Money bar. Endurance. Defensive positioning. Niko Balac. Endurance. H. Milius, welcome to the stream, man. How was your weekend, dude? How's the champ? Endurance. Uh, we are we are uh, second right now in Elite Syrian, but we have one game less than uh, Bodo Glimt, who are first. And in Champions League, we are going to play in the second qualifying round against Genk. So, so far, so good, man. Thanks for joining, Milios. I hope you're well, man. Agility and balance. Attacking movements. So I was telling, um, I was telling Bessmurf that I'm gonna be away from the June third to June 9th. I'll go in a short vacation with my wife. So um, we have to decide which which games we're gonna bet on for the betting league because all the big leagues are gonna be over. So we have only Elite Syrian during the summer and MLS. So we have to. You know kind of decide all of us what we're gonna do uh improvements yeah we still have um some my like wonder kids here we we still have pero romach who is gonna be a superstar in the future we're trying to get him on a permanent contract 131 current ability and we are um we just signed yesterday Two wonder kids from South Africa. This guy, Pule Butelezi, was gonna join in August. And Tabang Mzimela. Both of them 19 years old and both of them international. So slowly we are improving the squad. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean we can keep it offline, definitely. I'm I don't mind, Emilius. Yes, you I agree. We can still track it on Discord, but uh, for me to stream, I'm going to be back on the 9th. So on the 9th, which is Friday, 9th of June, uh, we can stream Saturday. We can do Saturday, but we need to decide which games we're going to bet on. You know. Uh, to put the starters in Matazo Romac Balac Kamanzi Elias Haug Popeyemi is still injured Admusen Day is back Hannibal, yes. Zamburek or Hussein. Yeah, Shmilius. Um, but like I said, during the summer, it's um, Nor Norwegian Elite Syrian and uh, MLS in, in US. So... I mean, I will bet on anything. I don't care as long as we have fun and we we do the betting league. So we can we can bet even on South American games. I don't care, but those are not quality games. So all right, we have two tired players. We have Nsomi and Welsh. So Elias Haug will play with Unsomi. 
and Welch will be on the bench. And we have Hauge tired. Uh, let's see what we can do with Hauge. We'll play Radio Pane as a winger. Alright. Did we check everything? Yes, everything is done. Ruglen Re. Uh, do we have a oh, Peterson? Okay. That's the only thing that I wanted to do before we start. Okay, let's go. Playing at Stabike, guys. We have one game less than Bodoglin. If we win this game, we're back on the first place. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, Schmelios. We have to agree with uh, Bessmurf and Pixel. And also, Dan said he wants to join us. So, uh, we will make the announcement on Discord when, uh, like, a day or two before. I'll take care of that. And uh, we are, we're going to continue, man. The betting league is fun. So, especially if more people will join in the future, it's going to be really fun. On Saturday, 3rd June. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't uh, stream on uh, on 3rd June. We are going to be leaving like really early on the 3rd. So. Uh, yes, we will do it offline, but I'll, you guys have to hold it on on Discord because I'm going to be really busy with traveling. So we can do the picks on the second. We can all uh, post our picks, but you guys have to, you know, kind of take care of it on Discord for, for, for June 3rd. And then I'll take over next time. Okay, cool. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, we'll I will post a schedule on um, on June second, and we can all make our picks. And yeah, if you guys can track it on Discord for for next Saturday, it will be great. And also um, update the. The league standing at the at the end of the uh, of the games, you know, with all the points and all that, so I can take over on the tenth. So, Shmilios, you're starting with two points ahead of us. Ah, wow. One nothing for, for Stabak. <sighs> Come on, Z, come on, man. We have two yellow cards. Okay, sounds good, Schmelios. Sounds good, man. I will uh, probably buy a bet, you know, <laughs> ahead of time before the games are going to start because I don't have time to monitor them, so... 
Yeah, this is tough, man. Because if we're losing this game, then uh, Bodo Glimt is going to go three points ahead of us. So we need to win and we're down already. one nothing. Zamburek, Radio Pane. Last game for Radio Pane before he's going to depart. Oh, Niku Balac, decent chance. You can't buy a bet. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. I can't because I have zero points. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Shmilio. See? That's the advantage you have. You have two points. I forgot, man. It's always good when you have two points. Because... Um, you start this advantage and also you can buy a bet definitely it's gonna give you uh, a good good chance to win again the betting league for the month of june <laughs> one point to sell that's Murph. Yeah, if you actually hit your your uh, three bets and also when you buy the fourth one, you can definitely destroy the league from the first stream, you know, from the first day. So, and especially if you have a you, if you have a a day when you hit all of them, like you had two weeks ago, when you won all your bets, then yeah. But those days are rare, are rare. So. You know, you really have to be lucky and you have to do your research for, for those to hit like more than once per month, you know. Okay, so it's halftime. We're down one nothing, and we're playing like shit. So I don't know. Oh, I forgot to put Gelhart, dude. Niku Balac out. Gelhart, come on. Come on, the yellow card. Playing like shit. Msomi, tired. And Hannibal, not playing well, also. Yeah, they are very, very, very rare. But when they hit, man, makes a difference. Like he did for you and for Pixel. Because you guys both, in two weeks ago, you guys both won all your bets that day. That was crazy. And those were like really high odds. Like high odds bets. So imagine if you would bet with real money that day. How much money you would have made. <laughs> Rasmussen passing to Gelhart, Gelhart, Gelhart for Radio Pane, but corner kick. Yeah, I was so I was so close, man. I just needed I just needed one more goal. One more goal in that um in that game I forgot which which game was it? Ooh, Gladbach in and they had a red card, dude. Like so Gladbach couldn't score one more goal after the half halftime. If if they would have scored one more goal, I would have won the league. I would have won the league, man. And that's crazy. That's crazy because I started really bad.
Brown 2 nothing. That's good. They're beating Rosenborg. Yeah, we all um, hit, you know, some good days and bad days. Oh, don't tell me it's a penalty, dude. Come on. Penalty for Stabike. <laughs> and it's over. Bodo Glimt is gonna be first now again with three points. So annoying. Yeah, we're playing really, really bad. Kamanzi six 63. I don't have anybody to replace you with, man. Everybody is tired. Everybody is on... National team duty. Amazon day. Whatever. Doesn't matter anymore. Zambrek. Whatever, dude. And Matazo. Matazo got injured too. I don't understand why we're playing so bad. I really don't. We have such a good team. It seems like every season, no matter the quality of our players, it's the same story. We start great and then we immediately start to, uh, to lose games for no reason. Not really. I'm not getting offended in this game because they are dominating. They We don't deserve to even score a goal so far. It just makes no sense how we improved the team so much compared to the last season and we're playing the same. It's the same story. There's no change. Same tactic, you know. And this tactic worked wonders with Bordeaux, with other teams before. With uh, Manchester City, uh, Betsmurf. Uh, you know, picked this tactic. And he won the Champions League with it. So it's not the tactic. And the players are good. So I don't know what the hell is happening. Like, every player is struggling. 6-3, 6-4, yellow cards, injuries. Um, yeah. Uh, w what formation are you are you using with Arsenal, Shmelias? Might be an offside here. 2-1. Yep, offside. Doesn't matter. Oh, you're still playing your Manchester City save, Bessemer.
four minutes of extra time, but it doesn't matter. This is pointless. Oh, second season that you won, yeah. This is um This is weird man. It's the first save in in Football Manager when I can't figure it out. Like I can't I don't understand what what I'm doing wrong. Cuz it's already 2026 with Asane and I'm still at the same level. Like we're still at the same level. When we promoted from from the second division to the first division with a much much uh, you know, poorer team, like, you know, weaker team, we finished second. Now with a way, way better team than four seasons ago, we're at the same level. We finished second or third. So, it didn't happen to me before. City smoked me, Chelsea smoked me, 2-2 two -two versus United. Yeah, must be your either your tactic, Schmilios, or the morale in the squad. Usually that's the problem. Usually, you know, it's probably the morale when you struggle. Especially with Arsenal, because Arsenal is a good team. Look into that. Look into your tactic. Or the uh, the confidence of the players, you know, the mood in the squad. Okay, game over. We lose two nothing after a very poor performance. We got uh, dominated by Stabak. And now we're three points behind Bodo Glimt again. We have to chase. It's the same freaking story every season. Embarrassing, embarrassing performance. Yeah, see, that's that's one one reason why you're not constant with Arsenal. You're not winning constantly. We're five points in front of Lillestrom, but three points behind Bodoglin. And Bodoglin can't lose a game. They're just unstoppable again. Elia, <laughs> thank you, game. So Elliot Matazo got injured for two to three weeks. We have how many injuries now? At least four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Four injuries. One is Lars Killen, two weeks. Opeyemi, three to four months. Vale, four to five weeks. And now Matazo for three weeks. <laughs> Milios, come on, man. You can do it. Pick a pick a different tactic, maybe, and just uh, play the best players. I don't have to tell you what to do. You know football, man. <laughs> Just play the best formation, in your opinion, for the team that you have. It's not it's not hard. I'm telling you, it's not hard, especially with with Arsenal. <clears throat> you'll you'll get it right soon. You'll see. Yeah, man. Injuries, injuries upon injuries. Like we're, and I'm. If I'm going to the staff, I, I have one, two, three, four, five physios. I can add more. We have Nielsen, twenty. We have Sorin Christoph, twenty. We have Bjorgven, whatever his name is, twenty. We have Barta, 20. And Holmgren, 20. Everyone is at the max. 
and we're still having injuries dude like <laughs> you have to take it step by step Shmiyos. but i know it's it's very very uh, weird in the beginning because if you're not that passionate about the game you are not you don't have the patience to go through everything you know and you just want to have action constant action game upon game you, you're not you don't want to go into the details i understand that i was like that before when i started playing the game but when you get passionate about the game you want to see everything you want to be in charge of everything and then you will see you know the changes you need how to train to to praise players for training and after games yeah uh you go to you go to training right here to the left go to individual and here you have all your players on the left this is your rear squad so you go from top to bottom one by one you see you press on him saw me right here and usually you have the option here on the right but i just did it i just did it that's why it doesn't show here you have the option to either praise or criticize there's two boxes that is going to be available but be because i just did it right before the stop by game now they don't they don't show up here so you take one by one each player until the last one praise or criticize and you check the ratings here see you see 845 820 810 you praise the players that are above 720. Uh, below 720, you know, you just don't do anything. You criticize, for example, this guy, 570. You see, he's not he's not training well. 605, Escobar, not training well. 650, Rasmus, not training well. So you're praising, like I said, you're praising from 720 and up. 725 no lower than that because they're gonna they're gonna start to like you know they're gonna start uh getting weird and uh with with negative responses so usually this is what i do all the time <laughs> this is uh you and you do this before each game in the league before each game in premier league because you you are with arsenal don't do it before the cup games or champions league games just do it in the league and you are able to do that each seven days if you want to do it earlier than seven days you can't because they're gonna you're not gonna have the option here like me see as i just did it they don't let me so i'm gonna send the assistant i don't have time for the press after this horrible horrible game yeah right before the game you do it Shmelias. And this will keep the morale of the squad uh, in control. You're going to praise them. They will feel all the time, uh, you know, motivated because you like what you see and they like the attention. It's exactly like in real life, you know, when you give attention to a player, he gives 100% for you, for the coach, you know. When you criticize, sometimes they get... Uh, they get angry sometimes they get motivated also they want to improve all right we have one more game for today guys that's viking at home and that's gonna be the last game of the stream One second.
Yeah, I used to do that too. I used to not pay attention to that. And uh, I started doing it um, in FM20 or FM19. Starting praising the players and all that, you know. And it makes a big difference. Because, like I said, tactics is not everything. The confidence of the team is, the most of the time, the most important thing. If the players are happy and they're confident, even if you have a you know like a i say mediocre tactic you're still gonna win games yep exactly Shmios. i'm happy you you get in you get into it man i'm happy you you like the the game <laughs> Maybe in the future, if I have a stable connection, we can do like a like an online save, all of us. <laughs> you, me, Bat Smurf, Pixel. <laughs> but for now, I would not advise it with my internet. Definitely. It's going to be really frustrating. Like a network save, you know. <laughs> yes. I agree, it is very overwhelming, yep, I agree with you, so they want, they want 850,000 for this guy, Felipe Castro, Colombia, what do you think guys, is it worth it, 18 years old, 189 CM, can play behind a striker, not bad, Castro, Huh. Let's try. Let's do 700. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Whatever. There's a lot of teams um, trying to get him, so... I am not 100%. Because, like, he is he's Colombian, so we have already too many foreigners. I don't think we're going to have room for him to be registered. Okay, so like I said, the scouts accepted their club's offers. So now, who else we got? We still have one guy that might join. Rules Jensen from Tromso. Come on. We need you. So after Viking, we have a break of two weeks. Good. The players need some uh, some time off. Yeah, it's um I think uh it's my computer. Guys, the buffering cuz it's buffering for me too. It my music, the music in my headphones sometimes it pauses for a few seconds so I see that my computer is processing very slow um sometimes. So it's not it's not you, it's it's my computer. But it's just for a few seconds and then comes back. It's either the computer or the OBS. The OBS, it's the software that I'm streaming with. So it's not the internet connection. Because I checked the connection is strong. Might be Twitch too, yes. Um... I have this this uh, issue every single stream, every single stream, 
like for a few seconds it's buffering yeah i'm um, planning in the future to get a new computer i don't know when because uh, if i want to buy a new one i want to buy the best possible the best available so it's not gonna be cheap you know it's like over 1600 dollars so so far uh i'm just gonna do this you know with my uh with my laptop i'm using my laptop for streaming you know Oh, you have it on other streams too? Then it might be Twitch, I don't know. Mm. But it's it, it's happening every single stream I do. I, I remember since I started for a few seconds. Yeah, it's buffering. I mean, like, like I said many times before, not a lot of people are watching me, so... You know, even if it's buffering for a few seconds, who cares, you know? Not a big deal. It's only us, you know, like three or four friends, you know, enjoying the game. My connection speed. Uh, let me see, actually. Speed test. Let's see. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, the uploading speed. Yeah, now it's... Okay, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. So... 102.4 megabytes and the upload speed is 6.22 megabytes i don't know if it's good or not it says your internet connection is very fast your internet connection should be able to handle multiple devices streaming hd videos video conferencing and gaming at the same time So 102.4 megabytes download and 6.22 megabytes upload. So, yeah. I'm not a tech guy, so I'm assuming this is okay. So the upload is kind of low. I don't know how you upgrade that. How can you improve that? Bitrate. How do you check that? The bitrate. OBS okay bitrate in settings okay let's see settings stream the output rate or general output okay bitrate five 5500 kilobytes per second it says here in the output so these settings are from me watching some videos informational videos and 
since then I didn't change anything since I started streaming in January this is how I did it with this setting so 5500 yes 5500 kilobytes per second bitrate should I change it should I do should I I don't know Forty five hundred, okay. Forty five hundred, apply. Okay. If you see anything, if you, if anything changes, let me know. I lowered it just now. I just put forty five hundred, and I don't know if that's the problem. <clears throat> I'm using a gaming laptop, HP gaming laptop, so pretty decent, but not, you know, it's nothing compared to a gaming desktop, you know. slightly lowers the quality and takes less resources yeah i mean <clears throat> i hope it's not like it's not going to be from one from 1080 to 720 because that's going to be a downgrade you know i need uh, i need the hdness you know i hope it's not taking from the hdness <clears throat> And yes, best Murph, I agree. I need to learn from Shmilios a lot. <laughs> I need to learn from Shmilios how to bet right and the techie things, you know. Welsh de developing concerns. Oh, because I because we sold Radio Pane. What do you want? Oh, okay. He's okay. So Radio Pane joined. I don't know who he signed with, but is it Molde? I forgot. No, it's Hanover. He joined Hanover, Germany. Because I don't understand. Wait. Oh, to teach. Oh, I see. I didn't understand. What you what you meant, best Murph. I'm sorry. Uh, there's not a lot to learn, and I'm not a teacher because <laughs> I'm learning everyday stuff too, man. In the manager, so. But basically, exactly what I showed you with the training and uh, with the tactics. This is the most important. Like if you have a decent tactic that can um, fit your team, and then you can go to the training and praise the players after or no, before each league game this this is the only uh, this is the only way to to keep the players happy so if you master that you're good to go everything else is just extra you know just minor things and for me the the most fun part is the transfer window like when when i do deals you know when i send scouts to find uh, good players and all that, you know. <laughs> I'm happy if you if you got some things from uh, from me, Bassmurf. But I did the same thing. I watched other streamers and I learned stuff. So for football manager, you don't need a high beat rate. Because not so much happening on the screen, but if you play like me Diablo where it's like happening all kinds of shit, 
very fast and colors everywhere that you need high bitrate yeah i agree with that but uh since i uh lowered it what do you do you think um the hdness is the same it's or you think the uh the picture is um the quality is uh lower what do you think i did it like five minutes ago so Is it, if it's the same, then I'll keep it like this. Alright, we're two days away from Viking and the last game of the stream. Oh, it's just as clear before? Okay, perfect. That's all I care, you know. Like I said, we're, we don't have too many people watching, so... second guys so I lost one of my pre best today and I won one now I have one left for later. <laughs> no buffering and everything is the same, so I'm uh, I'm good with that. Okay, we have Escobar that um, is offered by Krakovia. Uh, reject sixteen hundred. Hmm. Reject. Whatever. We have uh, already 1400 from Famalicao and Partizan. So 1.4 million, not 1400. 1.4 million. Two hundred megabit upload. Just checked. Two hundred. So I have six. You have two hundred. How can I improve that, Shmilios? That's crazy, man. One hundred eighty-nine point five. See, like I have only six, man. That is really low, right? Oh, it's a provider. Okay. I know the internet in Europe is way, way better than here. Like, it's not even close. Okay, check in your papers with them what your deal is. Yeah, I definitely have to. Because, uh, yeah, six, it's not enough. You guys have fiber? Yeah. I think you guys have fiber, dude. Yeah, I agree. Six is very low. But definitely, yep, fiber. So I have to upgrade to fiber because I think there's an option on uh, on on there. Last time when I was online, <clears throat> I checked and I think there's an option to upgrade to fiber. Maybe I will do that, actually. And maybe that's gonna fix all our problems with the stupid internet, you know. 
the the buffering is completely gone. Okay, that's a good sign. What do you want, Escobar? The finances were in rate. 1.5 Yes, Shmilius, and thank you, man, because without you... <clears throat> definitely without you, I would have struggled even more, but especially with, uh, with the help in... Uh, in our betting league, you know, when I have issues with my my stupid connection, you can take over, you know. Two hundred, the downloading speed. Damn. That's the that's the first thing I will do. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade to fiber. Forty six point nine. But that's with two streamings on. Okay. It's still good, man. Still good. Recruitment meaning. Fifty is more than enough. Okay. Download isn't that important. Yeah, the upload, when you stream, the upload is really important. So I'm going to call the provider and tell them that I'm a streamer and I would like to have this upgraded. Hopefully, like I said, I hope this would fix once and for all the stupid, stupid connection issues and the quality of the stream. Buffering now? Uh, really? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what can I say, man. It's out of my hands for now. Check your papers first to check if your deal is 20 then they can't provide you with more than six okay well definitely they can upgrade me to to fiber no matter what like if i want to pay more you know they can do that Yeah, if if you have if we have the cables, I think it, I think uh, we do. I think we do. I think we do, but I will double check, and I'm gonna ask them what's the best solution for 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 me to to upgrade to a better better service because this is you know, this is not good enough. They want me to pay 40% of future sale. Like, 
Hell no. Alright, game time, guys. Last game of the stream. Getting late here. Let's praise the players who did good in training. T. Schmilios. Just getting it to 20 is good enough. Uh, I'm having Comcast Xfinity. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with, with them. But in in US, they are known as being the best. So I don't know. No, to each their own. But I think they're the best. It's just the area where we live. It's a, like a apartment complex. And they have some... some issues lately with with uh cables with uh whatever outages i don't know what the hell is going on yeah i would love to have your internet connection the quality i don't think you guys have this issues like you know When you stream, you have hours when until the internet is back. I don't think anybody has it in Europe. I don't know. I might be wrong. But it's 2023, like Shmilio said. So this things shouldn't be happening, especially if you're dependent of the, the connection. What if you are a bank and you need connection all the time? What if the internet drops like every every hour you know okay we are almost done here let's criticize Escobar some players are not responding well to my criticize okay this guy we just did what about rasmussen okay rasmussen is okay let's check for additional training attacking movement for hauge <clears throat> endurance for balac see Schmilios what I was telling you about this is when right before the the league games when you can check you can check for also additional training like your assistant coach is gonna tell you which players need assist like additional training like this guy Hannibal he is playing inside forward and my assistant coach is telling me should be put on individual training regime to improve his shooting so from final third we're gonna change to shooting and you check for each player. Uh, I just checked right now, Batsmurf. I think you were not here when I checked. But I got... Uh, let me see. <clears throat> I'm going to check it again, the speed test. Okay, so 140.9 140.9 download download and now they're checking the upload 6.44 so one forty point nine and six forty four so Shooting for Rasmussen. Hussein ball control. Kyolo final third. Kilen attacking movement Matazo. On the provider's homepage, you can normally check 
what speed you can get on your address. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me see. I don't know how to search for that. Um, homepage Comcast. It's Xfinity, so that's the name Xfinity from Comcast. Let's see. Now they're doing the the 10G network, but I don't know where to search for for that for the uh, the maximum speed. Okay, let's see my address. Yeah, I'm I'm right here. I'm at the the internet page. An Xfinity account already existed this address. And they want me to sign in and do all that. I did type the address, but and they said they found my account. They said uh, there is an already an existing account in with this address and they want me to they they want me to log in to the account and Okay, I'm in. Just one second. I think I might be able to find it. They're giving me the option to, to customize my plan. So let's see how, how I can do that. All right, so blast internet plan download speeds up to 400 megabytes per second upload speeds up to 10 megabytes get the speed you need at a great price shop deals Yeah, might as well if I'm here. Maybe I can do it. Let's see what they say. They, they're giving me the option to shop for, for better speeds. Let's see. It's loading. But the best, I think, it's a blast. That's the best I can do. Okay. Internet, 400 megabytes. Okay. 
We're in service internet, 800 megabytes. Wait a second. Choose your speed. So what I have is 800 megabytes. This is what I have right now. 800 megabytes. They are offering me gigabit extra 1200 megabytes but see i don't understand where is the speed where i can choose the speed super fast 800 super fast 1000 megabytes gigabit and gigabit extra 1200 i it doesn't it doesn't say uh, Shmilios, the upload, I don't see it. I don't know where to look for it. It just shows me your current services, internet, 800 megabytes, TV, 220 plus channels, home phone, and the bill. That's it. They, they don't show the speed. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to have to call them, dude, and be on the phone with them and tell them exactly what I need because I don't want to change my plan right now and then I might do something that, you know, something wrong. So I'll just call them, you know, that's better. I'll, I'll wait. There's no need to rush, you know. They don't don't have any advanced option. They just shows me they, they just show me my plan, and if I want to upgrade to uh, twelve hundred giga, but they don't show me the speed though. And if I call them, definitely they will t tell me okay. You, if you're streaming, your best option is blah blah blah. You know. So if I speak with someone, I'll feel I'll feel comfortable. You know. I don't want to do any changes for now. All right, um, last game of the stream. It's already past two hours, guys. Let's see who can we play. Who is fit to play? Gelhart on the right, inside forward. We missed so many players, it's not even funny. It's 100% there. Yeah, I for sure it, it's it's 100% there. But if I uh, if I don't know exactly what I choose, it's better for me to call them. I think 
and it's you know because i'm gonna tell them hey i stream i need blah 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 i need this kind of speed because what i'm having right now is not good enough so if i talk to them uh i can do it through phone you know and i'm agreeing with you for sure it's there it's just i don't know where to look exactly you know yeah no you're right you're right I mean, it's just i need i need to to feel you know comfortable with what i'm choosing so if they exactly if they tell me exactly what i'm paying for then yeah i'll do it for sure somebody has to be out of the out of the squad because we can't have injured players on the bench and this is the best we can uh, we can line up guys Rasmussen, Zamburek in the middle, Bod Bodger, Hauge, Gelhard, Balac, Rasmussen, Dame, Somi, Walsh, Romach and Peterson. Let's start the game. It's gonna be tough because we uh, don't have the best squad available but we need to get the win. Let's uh, give the players some confidence. Let's answer some reporters' questions. Playing in front of the fans. We need the three points. And we need to brush off whatever happened uh, against Tabayek. But guys, definitely, when I come back from uh, the vacation... Uh, you will see some improvements with uh, with the internet. I will upgrade. I will stay on the phone with them until we find the best solution. Yeah, we need we need to to get the win here, and we hope that Bodo Glimt is gonna drop points again i don't know who they play but for sure they need to lose one game since they started the season they never lost a game so they're not unbeatable yes guys last game of the stream uh, and it's not raining in bergen very very surprising Hauge, Balac, oh, and don't tell me it's an offside, because this was a beauty. Nope, it's a goal, and what a goal. Oh my god, fifth minute of the game, one nothing for Asane, but look at this. Hauge and Balac, the Romanian wonder kid very good start of the game golasso yes i agree <laughs> we don't need to over celebrate guys because viking is a new promoted team from obosligen hauge oh my god look at this guy hauge assisting and now scoring Another Golazzo here for Asane. Damn. Welsh for Balac. Balac for Hauge. And Hauge with a individual run here. Beautiful goal. 2-0. Come on, boys. Let's keep it up. Hauge again. Best player on the pitch right now. Romac. Ah. Kick. 
can't wait for the day when we will lift the league title, guys. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's already the fifth season and no trophies for me in in Norway. Gerhard. Gerhard in the box. Hauge. Hauge passing to Amundsen. Rasmussen. What gear? Romac with the corner kick. Waku. They had a chance but blocked. Block shot there in the box. We need to be careful and uh, we don't need to let them get back into this game. If we score one more goal, I think we can comfortably say uh, we won the game. That would be ideal if we can score one more goal before halftime. Romach with a yellow card. Somi Amun Sunday 31st minute 32nd minute of the first half Draw much Gerhard in the box Draw much Rasmussen Ah. Maybe tomorrow we'll have time to to play the games at least one leg from the the Champions League qualifiers against Genk as I already told you guys. And 3 nothing. Balac with the second goal of the game. Yes. Vikings are back in the Elysian. They went down. And now they're back. But not doing so well against us. It's 3 nothing in the 33rd minute. Balac with a beautiful finish. As I told you guys. We are going to play in the second qualifying round against Gank in champions league so maybe tomorrow or if not tomorrow in two days we will uh, start the qualifiers zamburek for hauge hauge in the box <laughs> hit the post yes we are destroying viking We need to finish the stream with a win, guys. I, I hate, hate finishing with a loss. And we lost already two games in today's stream, so... Wow, what a save by Peterson. Okay, half time three nothing. Brilliant. Let's uh, start the second half.
Yeah, I saw this guard for 10,000. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. It's funny. Because, like, we have already two good goalies in our squad. List guard. Idar Ellsborg. We sold him to Ellsborg. 10,000. Because he was the third option, right? So he was making like 70k per season. So we needed a little room in the wages. So yeah, we had to sell him. But what a great goalie for Asani, man. <laughs> he was so good, especially in the first season. But he's 31 right now, you know. And we already have two goalies, so... Two good goalies. So yeah. But great servant of the club. Ten thousand dollars, yes. Ten thousand dollars. But he was making seventy thousand per year, you know. So I didn't care that much about how much money we can get for him because he had only six months left from his contract. So I was like, ah, let's just get something. Even even one thousand dollar, I don't care. Just let him go, you know. Zamburek, Balac, Balac for Gelhardt, Gelhardt, Hauge, Hauge, Ooh, good one. Soon we're gonna make some subs, let's uh, wait until the 70th minute. Hmm. Romac with the corner kick. Oh god. Yeah. No, ten ten thousand dollars, yes. American dollars. We appreciate what he did for the club, but you know, we need to move forward. We need to upgrade the squad. And last season <clears throat> we had like four or five games in a row where we lost. Right? So even though we were still second or third in the league. Uh, I was I was facing an inquest. So in Football Manager, when you get this message that you're going to face an inquest by the board, it means that you're on, on a verge to, to getting fired. And 4 nothing Might be offside. This time it might be offside. Yep, yes, outside. So yeah, last season, uh, yeah, it was not close for me to get fired, but it was kind of like, okay, let's see what's up. <laughs> you know, the, the chairman was kind of like, enough is enough. What's wrong with the team, you know? And it never happened to me with Bordeaux, with Gilles, with the teams that I coached before. I know this is it was weird like what what's happening because <laughs> we were still top four but we lost five games in a row or four games in a row and then the chairman was like yeah let's have a talk All right, 60th minute. Viking with a decent chance here. Surprisingly, it's not raining. Yeah. I'm going to tell them, like, like, don't speak with me. Speak with Shmilios and Betsmurf. They are my assistants slash managers, like, uh, you know, if you want to talk about my contract, they will handle it. 
At the start of the season, the expectations for this season was to be top four. Last season it was to be in to finish in the top half of the of the table. Two se uh, three seasons ago it was to avoid relegation. <laughs> so, and this time is not upside, and it's four nothing. Runar Hauge with an unnecessary fourth goal, but we'll take it. Okay, we'll make some subs very, very soon. Amundsen, Balac. And let's not, uh, let's not forget that uh, I brought the team in the knockout playoff of Europa League for the first time in the history, so... I, I'm expecting a little appreciation here in Norway. <laughs> Zamburek. Hauge for Gelhardt in the box. Gelhardt. Ah. We want La Manita. One more to be five. Oh, way over. Yes, I I overachieved based on uh, the expectation they set up for me. I overachieved maybe last season finishing third. I kind of like, you know, not underachieved. It's just like, I don't know how to say it. It was a blah season, but they, they were asking me to be top uh, in the top half of the season, uh, top half of the table. And I did that definitely didn't didn't win the league but you know and oh my god peterson with another big save clean sheet i don't know what they want from me man and 4-1 they got one back Tangen and Diagne. Yeah, very nice saves, but this one was impossible to block. It was a perfectly hit corner, you know. All right, let's make some subs because the time is flying. Silstad for Romach, Raholt for Hauge. Great, great game for Hauge. Actually, let's uh, let's leave Hauge on the field because he might score the hat-trick. Uh, also, two goals from Balac, so both of them, they need to stay on the field. Helias Haug for Msomi. And Botker 6.4 Hussain and move Rasmussen up. That's it. Yeah. It's okay. Even if they score another one, we're still safe. We won the three points. Now we're waiting for Bodoglim to, to choke. gonna be a dog dog fight between us and Bodo Glimt until the last very last game every season the same story we are fighting and fighting and fighting and we finish second Hussain Bratveit with the save in Romania when I was coaching in Romania with Gio it took me I think three seasons, three seasons to, to win the league. 
and we promoted exactly like here we promoted in the first year we promoted in the first league and then in two years we won uh super liga but the different story in norway with asane way way more way way harder All right, this is the last highlight of the game. Game over, 4-1. Great win for the boys. Let's praise the team. Everybody reacted on green. And now we we are waiting for Bodoglim to to make a mistake. We tied we tied them on points, but they have one game less. Let's praise Balac and Hauge for their double. Both of them scored two goals. This guy is improving. I like it. 24 years old. We got him for free from Hibernian. He can play inside forward or winger on the right. Let's do the press conference really quick. All right, guys, that's it for today. Schmilios, best Smurf, thank you for being here, man. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, same time like today. We're going to continue tomorrow with more games in Elysian. We're going to continue the fight against Bodo Glimt to win the league. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and uh, see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.